Hello everyone, this is the daily devotional video for October 2nd, 2017. Our passage for today is in the Old Testament, uh, in the book of Proverbs, chapter 2, when we read the entire chapter. Let me get a drink real quick here, sorry. My son, if you receive my words and treasure my commands within you, so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding. Yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding. If you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk uprightly. He guards the paths of justice and preserves the way of his saints. Then you will understand righteousness and justice, equity and every good path. When wisdom enters your heart and knowledge is pleasant to your soul, discretion will preserve you, understanding will keep you, to deliver you from the way of evil, from the man who speaks perverse things from those who leave the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice in doing evil and delight in the perversity of the wicked, whose ways are crooked and who are devious in their paths, to deliver you from the immoral woman, from the seductress who flatters her with her words, who forsakes the companion of her youth, and forgets the covenant of her God. For her house leads down to death, and her paths to the dead. None who go to her return, nor do they regain the paths of life. So you may walk in the way of goodness, and keep to the paths of righteousness. For the upright will dwell in the land, and the blameless will remain in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the earth, and the unfaithful will be uprooted from it. The title for today's devotional is Avoiding Compromise. Although the temptation to compromise threatens every believer, we don't have to give in to it. If we're aware of the danger, and understand the downward progression and consequences, we can remain vigilant and stay on track. The first step in learning how to avoid compromise is understanding why we find it so tempting. When others pressure us to take part in what we know God has forbidden, giving in becomes easy because we don't want to feel rejected. But anyone who's committed to living a godly life must be willing to stand alone and face ridicule or even persecution. Reference to 2 Timothy 3.12. At other times, in an effort to avoid conflict, we may consent to activities that violate our conscience, then seeking peace at any price to result in disobedience. The temptation to compromise, however, doesn't always originate with others. We can be carried away by our own desires. Many Christians have fallen into sexual immorality or pornography, and others are motivated to, to give in because of greed. If you alter details on your income tax or take a few things home from the office, you've stepped over the line of obedience to the Lord. Our choices should be based on scriptural truth, not on our feelings and desires. In order to stand firm against compromise, it is important to seek wisdom in scripture and let it set the standard for your conduct. If you begin 
each day with God in His Word, He will guide your way. Then when the Holy Spirit gives a warning, obey immediately, because giving consideration to the temptation opens a door for Satan. It's so important we don't let ourselves get carried away by, not carried away, but it's important we don't let temptations even enter our mind. It's so important that we stay focused on God, on being obedient to His Word, because as long as we stay true to Him and follow His Word, we'll be blessed. And it's so easy to give in to things we know aren't right, um, we, we as humans tend to have what we call a gray area. You know what I mean? Well, it's just a little white lie. I'm not really lying. It's just a little white lie. It's just a little fib. And, you know, this isn't really, you know, wrong. I'm not going to go to hell for this. This isn't, you know, we tend to have this gray area, but we need to realize that God is black and white. And it's so important we stay true to Him, stay true to His Word, be obedient to Him, resist temptations. Um, and God will bless you if you do that. I love you so much. Have a blessed day, and hope to see you back here again tomorrow.